profound damaged painting with several bad handling marks, blackened by smoke and heavily marked by time. But we can also see several attempts to fix it. There are several holes, very big tears, and the frame is also in a very poor condition. And the painting is so very dirty because of the smoke and others. And in addition, it has a thick layer of old yellow varnish on it. All of this together it does not let us to see any details of the painting that are under it. This is a painted portrait of a military officer, but somehow the painting itself, according with its state, it also went to a war. This painting did arrive to me in this state, but when I did have the first look on it, I immediately thought that this painting should be very special. This work is so very damaged in so many places, but I can see that the owner of this painting till now did try to fix on his way as much and as better as he knew. But to try to fix it in so many places, it's because there is, for sure, some emotional reason for that. It can be admiration, respect, or even love, but it's clear that there is a reason to keep this painting. After my analysis and research, I now understand the meaning of an inscription on the right side of this painting. It says Bataille 1854. And the word Bataille is the French word for battle. So this is a reference to a very important battle that did happen in September 29 of 1854. It was a battle that took place near a river by the name Alma in Crimea. A battle that was an alliance between French, English and Turkish troops against an invasion of Russian army. This battle had on its command this great person that is in this portrait. The Marshal Saint Arnaud. To start the process of cleaning the painting, I need to have access to it. So, naturally, I have to take it out of the frame. This is a very old frame, too, and probably is the original one. With the good solutions that do exist today, I definitely am not happy when I see people using nails to keep and hold paintings to a frame. But maybe it's just a question of these people that don't know those solutions do exist. But when it concerns to the stretching frame, I do prefer nails in the place of staples. Nails are more in line with the age of those paintings, although since those nails are very old, and they are very oxidized, to come out, they are very difficult. Difficult and time-consuming. Now, with the canvas free from the stretching frame, I have to be absolutely sure that there are no lost nails holding the painting to the wood. The last thing I want now is to put this painting in a worse situation than it already is. And probably now I'm going to realize that I am the first one in about 170 years that cleans this painting. I feel and see that there is dust here that is very, very old. With my brush, I try to release the dust and I keep my movement slow 
So there is not so much dust in the air or atmosphere that I breathe. This is a process that requires some patience and there is no way to rush it. I could use a vacuum cleaner to do it, but this is the way that I think is more convenient for this situation now. This is just the first step on the cleaning process of the painting. But looking to the back, I can see, by the way, someone tried to close the damages that they didn't know other solutions. So they used very unconventional materials to do it. It's quite curious, but I do not recommend at all. With the use of some solvents, I will have to remove those patches and those adhesive stripes. Apparently, this is old adhesive that was used to attach band-aids to hunds. And speaking about hunds, because I don't want to stay with a hund myself, go ahead. Click on the like button so I can spread this video to more people. The solvent I am using here is a mix of white spirit with a very small percentage of acetone. I do let it stay for some time and then I am able to remove it. As you see, some of the old glue from the stripes does stay on the canvas, but that I will remove in one next step. The scalpel that I use really is a fundamental tool in this situation. In the beginning of this video, you did watch that there is a large tear. In an attempt to stabilize it, Several layers of adhesive tape were applied to it. Another unconventional method that I do not recommend, but with the help of my scalpel, I can remove it too. Looking at the back, I really have a great insight how much this painting is damaged. And look at the amount of patches that I have already removed. And there are still some which, according to the analysis I carried out, these are patches glued with glue. It could be some rabbit skin glue or very similar one. But I believe that applying to the same mixture of solvents I used in the previous ones, I will also get good results and I will be able to remove them too. And as you have already noticed, this project has many steps that need to be performed. From structural stabilization to restoration and final retouch. I'm going to release several videos with the various steps of this process. Normally, there will be a new video on Monday and another on Thursday. So, subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications bell so you don't miss my next video. I suggest you watch this video here or this one here and subscribe. Until then, we meet on the next video.